Hey guys, this is Satish here and in the today's video, so the series is going very smoothly and a lot of people are getting help from this video series. So I'm happy that at least my intention is at least achieved partially as of now. Yeah. So by the time I reach the final um, year paper 20, I think I'm, sh I'm sure that many people will like the video and uh, they get benefit out of these videos. Yeah. So my effort should be appreciated only if it is helpful for you guys yeah so having said that we'll go to the paper 15 as I already mentioned to you guys a very very uh, interesting subject which we saw previously which is paper 14 so now we have the paper 15 and another practical subject for a decision making purpose so let's try to get some of the uh, analysis how you can plan based on your strength and weaknesses yeah perfect so we have the paper 15 for again for the paper 15 which is as per 2016 syllabus which is the strategic cost management for the decision making purpose yeah great 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 so we are just moving i am trying to move as soon as possible so that the video length should be short as possible yeah so the structure is divided into 20 percentage for the cost management 50% is a huge percentage for the strategic cost management tools and techniques 30% 30 for, 30 for the strategic cost application of statistical techniques in the business decision so let's see what are those business decisions how it will be helpful for me to get a good mark yeah uh, three hours written examination objective is to completion of the sub subject a student should be develop the skills of analysis evaluation synthesis in the cost and management accounting and in process created an awareness of current development very very important current development and the issues in the area so the subject also covers the complex modern industrial organization within which the various facets of decision making and controlling operations takes place the subject includes a discussion of cost systems activity based costing cost management and implementation very very important issues in the modern system so there are a lot of uh, stuff in the business guys so you might be thinking that business will run like that this and all but taking one decision based on uh, is the initial analysis and implementing the right way and getting the output as it is expected in the initial stage is very very uh, difficult for a business uh, in the current a tech context yeah so the learning aim is to identify the convention and doctrines of managerial and the cost accounting and other generally accepted principles which is applied in the contemporary cost and management models yeah so the identify the major contemporary issues that have emerged in strategic cost management so industry is growing nation is growing likewise a company also should keep moving from one level to another level so that is the stuff what you're going to see in the contemporary issues in the subject so discussion of a major issues with regards to the design implementation of cost management models in the business firms many people will be thinking that cost accounting will do nothing but based on my experience guys without a cost accountant without a cost and management accountant running a business with profit is very very difficult in the recent or a current trend so and financial accounting can be done today tomorrow whatever it is but if in case if the company fails to arrive its cost and trying to make profit out of cost or based on the cost efficiency it becomes very very difficult for the company to survive in the forget about the long run in the current trend also it will be difficult for the organization to run smoothly yeah so application of operation research strategic decision making might be a little difficult for some of the people but let me try to see which can be helpful for you to get at least the basic marks great so the skill level required is level c which is the knowledge comprehension application analysis synthesis and the evaluation so in key important to level c in the final level so do not study as a foundation level do not study as a bcom graduation level which is nothing but the intermediate level think as if you are a professional and give your importance at the level c yeah so cost management we have 20 percentage which is the basics of cost accounting so we have 20 i mean 50 percent is given for the strategic cost management tools and techniques so we have the basic here we have standard costing and profit making we have 
just in time and uh, enterprise resource planning uh, tools also is available in the cost management i mean activity based costing um, you also have the cost of quality and the total cost manage total quality management in this topic which is section b which carries huge 50 percent and never ever ignore this topic yeah i mean this section so section c carries the strategic cost management with regards to the application of statistical techniques in the business decision which carries again 30 percentage again and the second highest number in this subject so having said that uh, let's okay so let's uh, deep dive into the uh, each topic and sub topic so cost management carries the basic i mean, I mean the basics of cost accounting carries 20 marks so you should be knowing the life cycle costing target costing case and costing value analysis and the value engineering along with the throughput costing which is a new topic which many people will be not aware so business process re so you also should be knowing the business re-engineering process process very very uh, important topic guys from examination point of view also from a business point of view because business should keep changing uh, or the industry will keep changing so business also should try to do its the business organization structure from one level to another level so that it is cost so you also have the back flush accounting which is uh, a very very basic thing guys if you ask me all this are very very basic including the lean accounting so i would like to give importance to the lean accounting at, at the i would like to give a lot of importance to lean accounting guys because this is very very interesting topic also carries very good marks in your examination yeah so socio-economic costing also is very very important from examination point of view yeah so coming to the next topic you also need to know the cost control and cost reduction many people will be wondering what is control what is reduction should be the difference between those two things and the methods and techniques of the cost reduction program is also essential from examination point of view so continuing our uh, analysis so 50 percentage a huge marks carried in the subject that is under section b is strategic cost management tools and techniques so you should be knowing tools you should all be knowing also the technique so marginal costing people will feel difficult but trust me guys if you know the basics of marginal costing how it works and uh, how you can implement to your real life events or real, real life situations i mean like uh, to your uh, career or in your business or in your uh, 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 professional life it becomes easier for you to compare and know what is the contents of this marginal costing along with the subtopic what are given here yeah so do not worry too much about marginal costing in the initial stage itself but give importance give some time try to understand the read 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 so that by the time you read three or four times it will become easier for you guys to understand the marginal costing yeah so decision involving alternative choices you should be knowing what are the options available for main or by which is very very best for the organization to uh, take a decision so that a business will be profitable at the end so pricing decision and the strategic strategies okay so pricing decision and the strategies you also need to know that once the product is introduced to the market there will be a lot of analysis which the company does before it is released to the market by doing a lot of sampling and all those stuff so it also needs to plan how the pricing needs to be done and the strategy followed to ensure that it at least has a certain level of monopoly or certain level of a competitive edge to have a, a great pricing strategy for the product yeah so costing for a service sector how the cost will be done to the uh, service sector that also needs to be understood at a basic level so transfer pricing and the relevant cost analysis also needs to be understood from an examination point of view so i would like to give you very very important to this subject case because the first reason is it carries very good marks also a lot of topics are very very important and relevant in the business environment till today since i work for a business so i know how the business will run okay so we also need to know the standard costing in profit making a lot of things very very important from examination point of view also from an industry point of view so industry will always try to uh, reduce its cost at the maximum level so that it does benefit benefited for the organization as well as to the shareholders so who is the person who will be helpful for the organization to take a wise decision with regards to the cost is only the cost and management accountant yeah <clears throat> okay.
Okay, so you also need to know the activity based costing what you call as A, B, C analysis also needs to be known, uh, should be understood. So this is very, very important and an easy topic guys. So don't break your head. It is easy and it is easier for you to get a very good marks because all these things you would have already studied one or the other way in your degree level or in your uh, master degrees or even in your even in your intermediate level also. So ensure you know the basics that is a traditional level along with the a comparison analysis also is done by you guys in the ABC analysis. So cost of quality, total quality management, very, very important guy because all these are all very, very relevant in the current scenario also. So you should be knowing Pareto analysis, you should be knowing praise, you should be knowing total quality management, we should be working on the quality costs so quality also incur some of the cost that also should be clearly understood by you guys yeah so having said that we we'll come to the uh, end of our uh, analysis i mean the deep analysis for this subject so section c carries the strategic cost management application of statistical technique in the decision i mean in the business decision making so that very much huge uh, 30 30 percentage so some people might feel difficulty in the linear programming some people might be feeling difficulty the uh, trans transportation or simulation but guys trust me give importance to this one in case if you don't know how the structure works don't worry try to solve some of the problem like a b c d steps you follow try to dump those things formulation in your examination at least a formulation only can help you to get at least four to my four to five marks in this one yeah so learning curve is very very easy assignment also is very very easy if in case if you try to give more important assignment so transportation also can be a easier task for you yeah simulation people might feel difficult but trust me give basic level uh, importance to this one to get at least four marks yeah so network analysis cpm and port people will feel difficult again this subject i mean this section c of uh, Topic six, people feel feel difficult, but guys give more important, but never ignore because this has lot of analysis and the tools which is I can already mention to you guys. The subject is very very important, but carries huge marks, huge contents are there. Those are contents, tool, techniques, everything is irre uh, uh, relevant in the current situation, current business scenarios also. So that is the reason I'm just like trying to reiterate and tell you never ignore any of the sub uh, topic of the sub subtopic in this one try to give maximum uh, time to these all the this topic and subtopic at least not i'm asking you to get at least, uh, 100 marks and i mean like 100 percent in the, this 30 marks at least try to get 15 marks in this so that's what is my intention yeah so i'll not pressure you too much to plan your uh, uh, things in a right manner so that at least you will be getting a not 80 marks at least 60 marks so 60 marks i'm very much happy in case if you guys get me and show me the mark yeah okay so if in case we go to the um paper 15 strategy cost management a key points from uh based on my experience so keywords are very very important you should be knowing what is cost analysis what is cost what are the quality cost what are the total quality management all those things very very important you need to note in a sheet so that it becomes a revision as in when you uh, save your student journey yeah that is your before the examination so flow chart approach can be followed to this one adopt right approach for each practical problem i already mentioned to you guys for some of the practical problem do not jump to the conclusion follow one follow two follow three follow four follow five steps so this is very very important if in case if there's a 10 step follow those steps and do not ignore any of the steps that's very very important yeah so tag practical experiences wherever possible let's say you had worked in one of the manufacturing sector where marginal costing is being used in a great manner so you can try to uh, mention as per my experience in one of the organization marginal costing has been used in a great manner these are the benefits all those things can be mentioned wherever it's possible and relevant for the question yeah so no other reference books are required five items rtp ptp ntp question paper is very very important because many of the questions and sub questions of the topics keep repeating after three or four attempts yeah so try to interlink other concepts to a particular question if possible let's say um, 
when you're writing your life uh, cycle costing you can try to uh, compare and tell okay compare to uh, kz costing life cycle costing might be one of the important topic for i mean like in important uh, accounting for organization i mean the costing tool for an organization to benefit from this these things so something something like that you can try to compare when you're writing a lean let me give you another example when you're writing about lean accounting you can try to link about life cycle accounting how it will be beneficial for the organization which is the better one all those things can be interlinked so it's, it's just a technique guys so it's not a hundred percent i'm telling you to follow it is just a, one of the technique to impress the examiner yeah so formula sheets charts formulating and the formatting can be written in a uh, sheet and can be sticked wherever it's possible so that at least you can glance those things uh, uh, on a daily basis yeah so two to mock test is very very important if it case if you give me three mock test i'm very much appreciate your effort yeah so step marks is given for the right approach don't i already mentioned to you guys follow steps each step carries marks do not worry whether your answer is right or wrong in case if you follow a right approach if you try to under, uh, attend 100 percent question in examination getting more than 50 percentage is, is not at all a difficult task for you yeah so any recent methodology concepts can be tagged to the mm, answers wherever it's possible let's say in, in the uh, recent uh, situation learning curve can be very very beneficial for an organization in case if you feel some organization is following a parrot analysis where you are recently writing any of the news or any of the magazines you can try to link all those things in your examination wherever it's possible so tagging those things will be very very uh, impressive uh, stuff which you can give to the examiner yeah so this is a video for the day guys so hope you enjoyed i think uh, a lot of people are benefit benefiting from this uh, video series so i'm glad that i'm doing this for you guys yeah so uh, in case if you like the video hit the thumbs up button and please do share sharing the scaring sharing with your friends will be a great decision what you do for yourself as well as to your friends yeah so we'll meet with the paper 16 which is direct tax laws and international taxation a very very interesting another interesting uh, subject uh, for many of the students and let's try to understand those things yeah we'll meet with this video until then signing off sati said check your hand bye, -bye.